Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Lexi and Brandy. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Lexi's ability to understand and respond to the best of her ability to her basic on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and tons of motivation that we give her when we're working with her and the training equipment that we're using. Brandy is using a regular six foot web training leash and a training collar. And we're gonna give you several collars to choose from or maybe several collars to use in different situations. So like if, if you're in a situation where you anticipate she's gonna be reactive, you can use one collar. Hanging out around the house, you can use the other collar. So we're gonna send her home with two. She is standing very nicely at Brandy's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. We have not pushed the sit with her because of her previous injuries. We don't know when she's painful and when she's pulling our leg, but we are on the side of caution when it comes to her health. So she's standing nicely next to Brandy's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Lexi heal, and at this point she has a job to do. And that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking. Not forging ahead or lagging behind. Brandy just left her in a stand stay. Return back around to her, praises her for a good job. And they take off healing again. And if you're walking very slowly, she should do the same. You shouldn't necessarily have to jog with her although she doesn't appear painful if you're moving quickly so whatever your pace is she should follow brandy leaves her in a stand stay because we don't enforce the sit with her because it seems painful and this time instead of returning back to her brandy's going to call her this is the recall or the come on command we allow her to come and stand, but not to jump. We make it very happy for her. And then if you slow down, she should slow down as well, because you're not gonna be jogging around Philadelphia, you're gonna be, or New York. You're, for the most part, going to be walking. Brandy's gonna leave her in another stand, stay. Now she sits, and that's fine. We're not enforcing the sit. If she's sitting on her own, we're, that's what she's supposed to be doing. But we were afraid to enforce it because of her injuries, or previous injuries. And because she does stand and stay, and she does come and stand instead of jumping on you, we've allowed her to maintain the stand versus the automatic set. Now we're gonna demonstrate the down from a heel position. So she sits first and she does that fine. And then you tell her down and all she has to do is lower the front half of her body. This is your down stay. When Brandy returns back to her, she walks all the way around her, just like she did on the sit stay, and she stops at her shoulders. And at this point, Lexi expects to get another command. So she seems very enthusiastic on healing. But she does have to arrange her rear before she assumes the down position. So her downs are slow, but she obviously knows them. Now I know your main reason for sending her was her being reactive on leash. So we're going to bring out another dog that is also reactive on leash from New York who has problems with elevators, common lobbies, all of the things that you probably encounter in your daily life with Lexi. And we're gonna show you that it is possible to have her in close proximity to another dog and not be reactive. So we will be right back. 